Has this ever happened to you? If you've used SFM for any reasonable amount of time, I can guarantee the answer is most likely yes. It's an annoying issue, and I am here to present a potential solution to this issue. Going past SFM's original light limit simply from just 8 all the way up to possibly 64 from what I am aware of. Which is insane if you've been using SFM. <laughs> Keep in mind this is fairly recent information, so there are bound to be issues with this. It might not work that well on higher end machines. I'm using a 1070 graphics card, and it has worked generally fine. But even then, if I say it works well, make sure to back up your files. Just in case this doesn't work for you, or you mess up a code, you want to make sure that you keep it backed up just in case. Even if it does work for you, keep it backed up. I keep it backed up, even then. Anyway, this information is in a guide created by Kiwi Fruit on Steam in April 2022. This information could become outdated, and if it does, I will try to bring the new information to light. Anyway, let's get started. Starting off by showing the guide here, which is, again, by Kiwi Fruit. We are going to first download HXD. This will be included in the description, so don't worry about that. I'm going to give you a simple little like explanation for what to do with this file, and all the information needed will be in the description, but I'll go through that with you anyway. So we're going to go first to the file in game, tf, bin, client.dll. You want to just find this file, and then open up the newly installed HXD which is just an installer within a WinRAR file. It's something simple, just a hex editing tool. So drag client.dll into here, and you might be a bit confused. I don't blame you, I was too. I'm going to control G, and this is how we're going to find the lines of code. There are six lines you need to edit within this file. So first off, we're going to copy, paste, make a copy, just so you have it just in case you mess something up. And then we're going to change or oh, B2, B21, E3. Yep, and you're going to see this lines up with the code. We have 07. We're going to change that to 3F. Hit Control G again. I'm just going to copy paste these now because you can just do that and it gives you more accurate results. 3B to 81. Then we're going to. Ooh, ooh, going to control G, BE37C, which is just the next line, which is 81 to F8. And then ne next up is just, yeah, there's a lot of BE37, and then it's B, C, D, and E in a row. So you can just type these out. We're going to change 84 here to 40, and then 01, we're going to change to 00. Now there's one more line we're going to have to search for which is C214A. Enter, and we're gonna see 07. We're gonna change that to 3F. And that is all for this file. You're gonna hit Control S or just save. And then afterwards, let's start back here. We're going to go to ifm.dll, which you're gonna go into game, go through bin, tools, and then you have ifm right here. This is the original file. I got my backups already, but I'll back it up just in case. And we're going to drag ifm.dll into here. And here we're only going to have to edit edit three codes. And we're going to start off with, or actually, yeah, I'm just going to type it out just to help you guys. We have 27BE2E. We're going to find this line of code. We're going to have 08. We're going to change that to 40. And then we have ver we have a couple lines that are very close to this one, which are 27BEA1, which is going to be 08. Again, 40. And we're going to have another line here, which is 27BEA5, which, well, aligns with this. For proof, just hit control five and then bam, you're right here. Change that also to 40 and then save. Now that should be everything. You have your backup, so just in case this somehow did not work, you can go back and you can try it again. And well, let's go back into SFM and see how this works.
All right, we are back in the same session. We have our eight shadowed lights, and let's add one. Huh, that's strange. No crash. Let's add two more. Three. How about we just copy these? Paste, 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 paste. Uh, let's add, let, let, you know what? I don't think that's enough. Paste, paste. We're on 53 right now. And now you see we're at 68 over 64, which, or well, let's change it to 65, make it a little more natural looking. We're at 65 lights over 64. We get rid of the 65th light, and SFM is working fine. Let's, let's fuck with this light a little bit. Let's make it like a, well, you're, you're not really going to notice it. So let's just move it to like his backside. You can see this light does in fact work. So we are working with a maximum 64 lights with shadows, which is genuinely insane. Let's get rid of all these just for performance sake. And yeah, that's basically the tutorial. There are a few more notes that I feel are worth knowing before I end this tutorial off. Let's go down here, which are, these are some notes from Anonymous Gamer which are basically just noting his VRAM. V, his, it, the, the RAM issues with this aren't as bad as you'd expect. Like, with all of these lights, let's go back here for a second, we have 1,039 megabytes being used, which is about standard for SFM, and we have all these lights. So, if your machine can handle it, it's basically a win situation. I've never had any real issues with this other than what you'd expect with SFM, and by, by that I don't mean crashing, I more so mean like, you're gonna experience frame drops, rendering's gonna take a lot longer potentially, if you use a bunch more shadowed lights, but yeah, this is basically information regarding all of that, like, all the, all the VRAM doesn't really go up way too much, but SFM can take a bit, frame rate goes down a lot. And, yeah, that's basically all the steps you're going to have to take. But there's one more thing I recommend. And this is something very simple to add. Let's go to Source Filmmaker, Properties. And you're w going to want to add Insecure to the end of this. There's also a chance that maybe, like, your monitor size or shadow map resolution is going to take a hit to this. So, if this does... If this is a deal breaker for you, then you can just revert to your original files, or you can reduce them. These seem to work fine for me on a 1070. And, yeah, at Insecure, this should prevent you from... Like, th I think this makes it entirely offline or something, but this is just, like, a safety precaution, so you don't potentially get banned. I have not heard of any situations where people have gotten banned using this, and I doubt it will because Source Filmmaker is not a multiplayer game, and you're just increasing light values, so it's not something that Valve is probably going to crack down on people doing, but it's something that could potentially happen, so just be careful if you are going to try this. Add Insecure, do everything that I've said in the tutorial, and you should be golden. So, I hope this was able to help you out. Huge shoutouts to Kiwi Fruit and to Anonymous Gamer for finding out, doing the research, finding out everything about this. Like, like this is huge. This is the biggest development SFM has had in 10 years. And it's only happening now. So, be sure to let me know if it works for you, how it helps you out in the comments, because this is going to be a big step forward for SFM animation. Thank you all for watching, and take care.